is a consuming God is a consuming for our God is a consuming Pyrophobia. And he said with a loud voice, Fear God, and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea, and the springs of water, and from the throne came a voice saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, small and great. For you have not come to what may be touched, a blazing fire, and darkness, and gloom, and a tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and a voice whose words made the hearers beg that no further messages be spoken to them. For they could not endure the order that was given. If even a beast touches the mountain, it shall be stone. Indeed, so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I tremble with fear. See that you do not refuse him with speaking, for if they did not escape when they refused him who warned them on earth, much less will we escape if we reject him who warns from heaven. At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, yet once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken, that is, things that have been made. I speak unto thee this day, and I say that it is me, the living God, who does desire that my own people would be purified. That is, that they would allow the fire to burn upon them, to burn up that which is vile, that which is wicked, that which is wrong before me. But I say the majority of those who claim that they are my people in this wicked, perverse, and vile generation will not, will not, will not allow the fire in their lives. And I say, in the process, they lose out with me. Now I say, this day, by the living God, to put the fire upon me, I say, you are meant to bow down. I say, you are meant to begin to repent unto me. And I say, as you will repent, you will see that I, the living God, will show you the works of iniquity that are deep within me. And I say that I put the fire upon thee to cause you to bow down low, to humble yourself, to cry out unto me. I say that I do not put the fire upon you for you to blame and accuse and abuse and be angry at me. But I say when the fire would come into your life, I say repent before me and let yourself be ta taught my humility way. For I say, if you are trusting in your own carnality, if you are trusting in your flesh, if you are trusting in pride, you are trusting in the works of a fool. For I say, that I, the living God, never called you to trust in any other way, that is, even the way of your own evil self. But I say that I've called you to trust in me, the one true God, who is able to transform me. And I say that I've called you to continue in repentance, revolution, ever seeking to be right with me. Now I say this day in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, that I, the living God, am calling all men to repent. That is, to turn from the wickedness, the evil of their own way, that they can indeed be brought forth in my way. For I say, when a people will cleave to me, believe upon me, and trust in me, then they are ever guided by me. But I say, when a people are walking according to their own understanding, no, they are living in lies. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live in lies, but I say that I call you to live in the truth. And I say, if I desire to purify thee, I say, be thankful for the same. For I say, the more that you will indeed endure the fire that I put upon thee, the purer you become before me. And I say, the more well-pleasing you are unto me, thy maker, thy God. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am indeed calling all men to repent. And that is because men are needy of repentance in ways and means in their lives that they do not perceive. But I say, when the fire comes upon them, then they are able to see clearly that it is me, the living God, who desires to bring them forth. Then they are able to see clearly that it is me, the living God, who desires them to be in communion and union with me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time searching throughout the earth for those who will truly repent. And I say that I never promised that it would be an endless multitude, but I say that it will be the ones who really want me. That is, the ones who are willing to abandon their own way, their own lives, to take up the cross, to follow after me. And I say it will be the ones who are willing to repent and not hide their sin, their iniquity from me. 
But I say it is foolishness for any man or woman to imagine that they hide their sin or their iniquity, for I say that the same is ever present unto me. That is, I am able to see what it is that men do, what it is that they fail to do. And I say it is me, the living God, who delights when men and women will purpose themselves to be brought forth, uplifted, and guided by me. And I say it is me, the living God, who delights when the ones who say they are mine will walk uprightly in me. Now I say, therefore, this day, in a way with a perverse, a vile, and wicked generation, be thankful, ever thankful unto me. That is, if you can be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness, the way of truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will show unto thee the way of eternal life. Therefore I say, this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful for the privilege to believe, to receive, and be ever guided forth by me. And I say, be thankful that I give you the truth and the light, the mercy, the hope, and the peace day by day. For I say, through me you are directed in truth and instructed in light and given the way wherein you are meant to walk. And I say, if you will be accepting of whatsoever it is that I, the living God, desire to do in your life, then I say, you will be found well-pleasing unto me. But I say, if you rebel against what it is that I'm doing, if you resist and hate the fire, if you think that somehow I should change my way, I say you are living in pride. Now I say, this day do not take up pride, but I say, bow down to me. That is, humble yourself in repentance, revolution, each and every day. And I say, be thankful for the privilege that I've given unto thee, to walk uprightly for the privilege that I've given unto thee, to be ever guided forth by me. And I say, be thankful for the truth, the light, the blessedness, the mercy of who I am, for it is me, the living God, who is able. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be guided forth in the blessedness, the truth, the light of who I am. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that I, the living God, do offer unto my own the way that is newness of life, the way that is peace and safety, and the way that is strength always. And I say, if you will be coming forth in that way, then you are guided by me. For I say it is a good thing, a sweet thing, to be uplifted in that which I, the living God, alone do give. For I say it is the way of life, it is the way of truth and mercy provided. Therefore I say continue to keep trusting, believing, and looking unto me each and every day, for it is me you are meant to please. That is, you are meant to be walking in the way of truth that I, the living God, do offer to my own. Now I say there are multitudes who hear me call them to repent, and they stubbornly, proudly, defiantly refuse the same. And I say in their refusal they are choosing the way of damnation of soul. I say this day why should any man choose to be damned when he could choose to be saved? That is, saved from the sins that he is guilty of, that is, the penalty of those sins. And I say when a man will truly repent unto me and walk in my way, then he is ever guided by me. That is, he is given the truth that I do give. I say this day when I, the living God, do bring pressure in your life, I say do not grow angry at me. But I say instead bow down, seek my face, my counsel, and see what it is that I have for thee. For I say it is me, the living God, who has abundance of mercy, abundance of truth, and abundance of life. And it is me, the living God, who will give to the ones who will serve me the way wherein they are kept. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I the living God do give to you, I say it is mercy each and every day. And I say you should not ever accuse me nor abuse me when the fire is brought upon thee. But I say you should know, understand, and realize that I purify you, that you can indeed be more well-pleasing unto me. For I say it is me the living God who desires a people who are willing to endure with me. I say this day, consider that I, the living God, when I came as a man, endured even the cross. That is, not only the rejection, the continual backbiting, devouring, and plotting, and scheming against me, but I say that I did indeed complete the course even unto the cross. That is, I allowed my body, I allowed my soul, I allowed my mind to be subject to what it is that cruel men did against me. And I say, in the process of it all, I completed the will of the Father. Now I say this day there is none that knows the fires that they will go through in order to be purified and complete the will of the Father. Therefore I say if you see the fire that is upon me, I say do not grow angry at me. 
but I say, be bowing down in repentance unto me, and I, the living God, will guide you through. And I say that I will bring you forth in victory if you keep your heart right with me. I say, be thankful each day that I, the living God, am the one who loves thee, that I am the one who cares for thee. And I say, be thankful that I will direct, correct, and instruct you in the way that I offer to my own. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to end in a ditch of despair because you have turned from me. For I say, when you see the ones who have turned from me, who have gone whoring after the world in their own way, what do you see? I say, you see men and women who are full of misery, who can never be satisfied. And I say, even though they may take different routes, I say they are all under the same torment because they have rejected me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not intend that men would be rejecting, but I say that I intend that men would be accepting of my way. That is, coming forth in the truth, the light, and the strength that I give each and every day. For I say it is indeed a privilege to keep believing, to keep receiving, and be guided forth by me. And I say it is a privilege to be knowing that I am indeed the life source, the one who gives mercy unto thee. Now I say that for this day, be glad for the privilege to continue, be glad for the privilege to walk uprightly and be ever guided forth by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct, correct, and guide forth the people who continue trusting always. That is, trusting in me, the one true God, who will keep them day by day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do see the condition of humanity, and I say it is degraded, defiled, debauched, and full of all manner of evil. And I say that I do not call you in any degree to reach out and trust in the arm of flesh, for to do so is to bring a curse upon your soul. But I say that I desire that you would keep trusting, believing, and hoping in me each day. For I say it is me, the living God, you are meant to believe, to trust, and obey, for I am the one who is able. And I say, if you keep your vision single that is upon me, then you will be guided in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. And I say that you will be given the blessedness of truth that can only be found through me. I say, therefore, be thankful for the privilege to believe, the privilege to receive, and the privilege to come forth in my way. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, will ever direct you in that which I do give to my own. For I say, when you will stay faithful and true to me, no matter what it is that you go through, I say, you will see that I, the living God, am present with thee. And yes, you will see that I give you the victory, the mastery over the forces of darkness, and they shall not prevail. But I say, if you, in turn, will begin to backbite, devour, and accuse, and abuse me, I say, you will take yourself down right into the enemy hands that are waiting to devour, to destroy and take you out of this earth. I say this day that I, the living God, am giving unto you the way that is straight and narrow. If you walk in the same, so are you kept by me. But I say if you deviate from that way and go off in the way that is worldliness, the way that is dependency upon the arm of flesh, the way that is backtracking from me, I say you will find you have no strength at all. But I say, if you want to continue in strength, then you must remain in the straight and narrow way. And I say that you must indeed remain faithful and true unto me, the one true God who does care for thee. I say, this day be glad for the privilege to serve, to love, to obey me, and be brought forth by me. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who does direct, correct, and instruct you, for yes, indeed, you are mine. And it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who serve me the way wherein they are kept, guided, and directed by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who is well able to give to any and all who believes upon me the way that is eternal life. I say, be thankful, ever thankful, to continue to walk uprightly. Be thankful, ever thankful, to continue to walk circumspectly in me. That is, giving honor unto me as the one true God you are able to please. For I say, it is me who is truth and light. It is me who is mercy and hope. And it is me who is peace provided. Therefore, I say, continue steadfastly in me, and you will be guided each day. And I say, be glad that I, the living God, do allow the fire to burn out the impurity when you are sincere with me. I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is ever present when you do repent to guide you forth in newness of life. 
That is, in the humility way that I give to the repentant, the ones who truly follow me. But with fear and trembling, ooh, that brings a solemn fear of the Lord in my heart. And I persuade men. I say, hey, fellas, remember this. You're going to stand before God. And don't think with all these justification gimmicks. You're going to stand there. Verse 21.